How's it going guys? We have got series 38 to talk about today. The reveal live stream has just happened. We know all of the new cars. We've got the new game mode coming, new partnership and a few other bits and bobs. This video is going to be everything you need to know about series 38 from start to finish. Let's get straight to it. Now the release date and the release time for this update is a little bit peculiar. It is releasing on the 10th of September, which is next Tuesday, which makes complete sense. However, it's releasing at 8am UK time. You'll have to convert that if you're not in the UK, but it's very weird for an update to release at 8am in the UK. That could be quite awkward if you're in the US or anywhere else. So that is when this update is going to release. Let's have a look at the festival playlist for that month, then we'll take a look at the partnership and everything else and the hide and seek game mode etc etc so the full playlist for the full series for 80 points you can get the nissan tsuru from 2010 and for 160 points the nissan safari heads up there are only four new cars in this update or well technically five actually but there's only four in the festival playlist one per week the first week which is summer for 20 points you can get the first new car of this month the mitsubishi evo 3 i did actually see a comment from one of you guys on my previous video saying i'm just waiting for the evo 3 well here you go you've got it for 40 points in that first week you can get the hot wheels ford mustang there's a lot of hot wheels related stuff in this update as well Forza on shop for that first week will give you the mercedes-benz 300 sl the toyota 2000 gt the jump on it emote a colorado cover car horn and a colorado t there's a few forza horizon one related stuff on the first week as you can see there the colorado stuff very strange here are the rest of the challenges available for that first week Onto the second week, which is Autumn. The second new car of the month can be unlocked for 20 points, the Subaru WRX from 2022. And then for 40 points, the Sierra 700R. The Forza Von Shop for that second week has the Koenigsegg Jesko, the G63 AMG, Hot Wheels Guitar Stadium Horn, Hot Wheels Socks, and Hot Wheels Orange Hoodie. More Hot Wheels stuff. Here are the rest of the challenges available on that second week. The third week, which is winter, for 20 points you can get the third new car of this month, there's going to be a lot of excitement about this one, the Toyota Chaser GT Twin Turbo from 1991. That is coming to the game in just a few weeks for winter, very exciting stuff. For 40 points you can get the Hot Wheels 2 Jet Z car thing. The Forzalon shop for that third week has the Hennessy Venom GT, Aston Martin DB5, Horizon Australia T, Horizon Australia cover car horn and a takeoff emote. There's some Forza Horizon 3 related stuff in that Forza One shop there. Very bizarre. Here are the rest of the challenges available for that third week. The fourth and final week, which is spring. For 20 points, you can get the fourth new car, the Volvo C30P. And for 40 points, the Abart 695 from 2016. The Forza Von Shop for that fourth week has the Alfa Romeo TZ2, the Miura P400, Hot Wheels cap, Hot Wheels suit, and a Hot Wheels monster truck horn. Here are the rest of the challenges available for that fourth week. So that's the festival playlist summed up. Four new cars, the Mitsubishi Evo, the Subaru WRX, the Toyota Chaser GT, and the Volvo C30P. Great cars, quite happy with them, even though there's not many new cars. Now, as I said, there is a fifth new car. It's one that we've kind of already spoken about, but let's talk about it. And it comes through Forza Horizon 5's new partnership, which is nothing but net. Drive a classic muscle car styled after a sneaker icon with our latest partnership with Jordan Luca. Available through the gift tab in Message Center starting September the 10th, the 1969 Chevrolet Corvette Jordan Luca 3 Motorsport Edition will let you dunk around the roads of the Horizon Festival in style. Very cheesy. So that fifth new car, which is the Chevrolet Corvette Special Motorsport Edition, is given to all players for free. So on September the 10th, on the Tuesday at 8 a.m., it might not be available straight at 8 a.m., but sometime on September the 10th, Check your gift tab and you will have the fifth new car of the month for free, the Chevrolet Corvette Jordan Luca edition. We have some evolving world changes and that is a new amazing maze in the new stadium. 
had to be done. Try to solve the maze that's taken over the stadium during Hidden Horizons. This feature comes with platforms that will help you find the exit to the stadium and are also a great photo opportunity to take solo or group shots. The maze stadium will also be featured in some festival playlist challenges, so be on the lookout for rewards to find inside this limited time location. It looks to be a very sort of 3D style maze. It's not just a flat maze in some bushes. It's kind of, It looks like quite a big maze with ramps and sort of a 3D aspect to it. And as they mentioned, there will be some festival playlist challenges interwined within the stadium as well. And we can see that one of the daily challenges is related to the maze there for summer. And there's another daily challenge in autumn related to the stadium maze as well. So as I said, there's, there's challenges scattered throughout the festival playlist all related to the stadium maze. Really cool addition. What else did we get? Well, let's take a look at some of the quick fixes and release notes and changes. There's only four things highlighted. There will probably be more than this. There always is more than this. So if you're waiting for a specific fix, it might still happen, but this is the only things that have been noted for the update. We've got a new prop and collectible. Looks to be some kind of Sherlock Holmes style hiding tank. Um, it's also a new event lab prop that's probably going to be available from September the 10th and it is one of the winter week three festival playlist challenges called In Plain Sight. That's how you'll get this collectible so it's probably going to be something you'll do while you're getting the Toyota Chaser on week three. There is also a new suit, I believe. Yeah. If you complete week one, which is a summer photo challenge called hashtag expedition, you will unlock this new camo race suit. I think it says hide and seek on the front. It's not really that camouflaged, is it? It kind of stands out like a sore thumb, but there you go. We've got a new race suit. Some hide and seek details. Now I'm sure by now most of you know how the new hide and seek game mode works. I'm gonna roll some gameplay on screen right now of a nice five minute five minute game that's just how short these new hide and seek games can be this is just a five minute clip of a game from start to finish so i'll let that roll while i talk about a few things that have been announced today about hide and seek we have an updated list of the hide and seek cars we've got four hider cars jeep wrangler ford chevrolet mercedes and then there are 10 yes 10 Seekers cars there. I have been told that there might be another Seekers car coming, which is a Lamborghini Gallardo. We're just waiting for confirmation on what year Gallardo that will be. So those are the Seekers cars and the Hiders cars. We also have 17 badges which have been added for the Hide and Seek game mode as well. We can see the list of them here. You can get them for reaching all of the levels from 10 to 1,000. I still can't believe the Hide and Seek game mode has 1,000 levels. Crazy. Um, we've got a 50 completion streak, 100 completion streak, and a few other little bits. 17 badges are included with the hide and seek game mode for you to acquire. And there are also 17 accolades as well, which are not really the same as the badges. These are kind of 17 separate challenges. Some of them might be quite difficult. It's hard to say without actually playing the game mode and judging how hard it actually is. Win a match of hide and seek as the hider without going over 60 mile an hour. Win a match of hide and seek within three minutes as a seeker. If you want full details on the hide and seek game mode, maybe check out one of my previous videos. I'll post on screen right now a little bit of info of how the hide and seek game mode works. If you really don't know, there's a bit of information. Four seekers, one hider. You've got four minutes to hide. And then if you've hidden for four minutes, you get another four minutes to go and reach your end destination for the hider to win. The seekers have got to find the hider and stay in a close proximity to him and to win the game. Both the hiders and the seekers have their own individual power up or skill, which can help either team either catch the hider or get away from the seekers. So it's quite an interesting game mode and it looks like it could be quite cool. Now that is pretty much the entirety of series 38, five new cars, new game mode, evolving world stadium, and that is it. The next update is gonna be back to the 90s. We've got a little bit of a brief splash screen here to tease. It's gonna have new cars, new badges, new clothing, and a new collectible. We will talk more about this as we get closer to October the 10th. That is update 38, guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, and I'll see you all later.